Hi YouTubers, it's Roxanne here and welcome to my channel. I'm admin for Expression Cricket Expression Group and one of the most asked questions is how do we lift this lid so we can use full length pens opposed to mini pens. And these are the two pens I will use in example today. So I have a mini Sharpie and a big writing pen. All right. What I have here is a cheap pen grip. So for the first hack, what we need to do is just cut that pen grip right down the center lengthwise. All right. Now to place the pen in our single holder because the newer machines have two holders for the we have to actually take out our blades out and it's very simple just use that unwind that screw anti-clockwise push it to the right open up the black and pop out your blade so we'll just put that to the side for now we don't want that anymore just showing you what we do with our Cricut Expressions. Now keeping in mind that these machines are digital cutting machines. They're not digital writing machines. So what we've done is, all we've simply done, or we're simply going to do, is we're going to replace the blade with a pen. So naturally, as a plotter, the pen is going to follow the exact same line as what a, pen, a, a blade will cut it. So I'll show you with a mini Sharpie must remove the lid don't put the lid on it because it'll make it too big so just take the lid off and wrap around that pen grip right down to the bottom as far as you can go all right now before we put that in because we don't want the tip marking down the bottom here it can be removed but we just don't want to make extra work for ourselves now we must position this tip so that it's off the mat because when you go to load your mat and if this blade, this tip sorry, is pressed hard against the bottom, it's going to draw all over your mat when you load it. So what you're going to do is all you need is a paddle pop stick or something that's about I don't know, five mil. I'll we'll just move this out of the way. Put that under the rollers there. It'll fit nice, just something that will fit under the rollers. Okay. And from the top, I want you to load, open that wide up, load that in, and move that paddle pop stick directly underneath and just place it on top gently. Don't force it down, it doesn't matter. So here's a bit of a close-up on how you set the tip onto the paddle pop stick. Close that clasp up again and tighten it really tight and then remove your paddle pop stick. And just make sure you prime your pens because sometimes if they don't write you might need to um, hit cut again and cut it again, you know, cut it twice. So let me load the mat. Load mat. And it's not touching because I don't want it to draw all over my mat. And on Shortcuts A Lot 5, I'm going to draw a shape from the library, which is a snowflake. Because it's not going to cut it because I've changed my blade with my pen. So it's going to draw it. So let's just hit cut. It's going to go down here. Oh, didn't mark. So this is version 5.048. Boxing Day to 2020. And yes, I'm cutting with shortcuts a lot directly to my expression. So I'm going to unload the mat. I don't know what happened there, but it, look, it, it did it very well. Okay. 
So obviously the purpose of this tutorial is so I can teach you how to lift the lid on our expression so that it's out of the way and then I can put my big pen on it. So I'm going to, just to protect this again, put that paper underneath, unwind, push to the side and take that out. Pop the lid on so it doesn't dry out. Then I'm going to grab a normal size pen. Do the same thing. I'm going to put that pen grip on it. Down as far as I can go. And I'm going to now show you how I lift my lid. This is just the basics. But actually how to do it that to the left. Now I've made a powder pop stick because I need something to prop that up like that. I've also made a mark here so that I can just press the load button. I'll show you that in a minute. So here you can see two lines, one red and one green. They follow the load and unloading of the mat so when you've got your type pad tilted up, you can just follow and press the buttons without having to flip back around. So put your paddle pop stick back under there. Come from the top, it's the easiest. So that you can put that in, rest it against the paddle pop stick and close the clamp. So that's moving around a bit. If it's moving around a bit and that doesn't seem to work, because some are thinner than others, some are thicker, grab yourself some fun foam and just cut off a bit. Wrap that around. Rest it against the paddle pop stick and close the clamp really tight and that's a lot better. So I'm going to pull that out so that it's positioned perfectly. It's not going to drag on the bottom and ruin your projects. So now with the lid up, I can just press that to load the mat. Thought I click something else then. And then with my shortcuts a lot, I'm going to select another slow fake, exactly the same one, exactly the same size. Go to my cutter, cut with my Cricut. Now, in order to use shortcuts a lot five with your Cricut expression, it is a one-time purchase. Um I'll put, in a, I'll put a link on the bottom, which I am an affiliate for. So I'm just going to go cut. And the reason we need the nib cutter is it's so it communicates with your expression. So it basically puts your expression in the list of cutters to be able to use. Because Shortcuts A Lot 5 is used for a large variety of electronic die cutting machines and laser machines. So that's us cutting with a full length pen. All right, so I'll just take that out for you. I think I have to go stop first. There's the load, there's the unload. And there's the two drawn snowflakes. So I'm going to move on and show you now exactly how you're going to go about actually lifting the lid. See you soon. All right, <clears throat> so you need to turn your machine gently over so you can see underneath. So we're looking underneath on the left hand side. You'll see this latch that's got, um, I'll call it teeth. The moment it's in the lock position, which is towards you. 
just grab a screwdriver or a hook and for the first time it may seem a little bit stiff but what you've got to do is you've got to push that latch back so just get a good grip and just push that latch back I grab the hook then. Oh, so I've just popped that back and it, um, you'll see that on the left hand side that there is what's getting pushed back. So gently put it back on its right side again and to get it out just push this little button in, lift it up and pull it to the left. And those two grooves on the end will just slide right out. It's that easy. It will not hurt your machine. Now you saw me prop mine up with a paddle pop stick earlier in the beginning of the video. So, but sometimes you don't even have to prop it up. You can just sit it on the side a bit and it will sit on there nicely. So now you're ready to put in a full length. There you go, I've just set it up there like that. And you'll be able to then use your cartridge, your overlay, your shortcuts a lot five. Nothing will get hurt. So just please make sure this is unplugged. And to go in reverse, so pop in those two little slots back in and then just simply push it down. And that's still unlocked. So to obviously lock it, you need to pull the latch towards you. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and most definitely please subscribe. That helps me make more tutorials. And see you in the next one. Bye for now.